Good morning, everybody. <laughs> so I'd like to sum up the show for you guys so far. I want your hat. I want you to shut up. <laughs> I'm summing up the show. Uh, 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 fuck. And then people left. <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? Woo! Gay Lord. I pulled into town today with extra time because I'm professional and stopped at the Burger King to, you know, pass some time. And while I was sitting there, I heard the employees arguing about who graduated high school better. You're all working at Burger King, you all lose. And then I was pulling in the parking lot and I saw the sign said, Daily Peschels. I knew I made it then. Thank God I'm in Gaylord. Where's Jay Leno at? Black Light Lounge, huh? Where's the black lights? Are they hiding all the cum stains? Is that what they're not on? Oh, they're on out there. Don't go out there, though. You're listening to me now. Ugh. I don't know what, what's up this place. Every drink comes in a different glass. I mean, I didn't know if I was going to... I didn't know I was going to be drinking at my house. <laughs> some come in solo cups. Some come in clear solo cups. Some co It's like they just went to Goodwill and just bought every glass they had. <laughs> it's okay, though. They gave me two free drinks, so I can't complain. <laughs> I mean, drink more, people. We can all compare our different glasses. <laughs> so I woke up the other day, and the internet wasn't working. I didn't know what was up. I made sure my computer was both turned on and plugged in, because that's all the te technical knowledge I know. Turns out, the people next door moved away. <laughs> so I get laid all the time. Ladies. I used to think it was because of my stunning personality or my extremely good looks. But it turns out it's because I drive a 1992 Honda. Not everyone can drive a classic, guys. <laughs> uh. I'm giving out free tours after the show. Table ladies back there. Hey. Okay. Um. So yeah, I was auctioned off like a week or some odd a while ago. On my birthday, a man named Richard bought me for $20. Yet to go on the date, but... It's gonna be epic. I think I might have messed up a little bit because when I was selling myself, I said I was equal opportunity. I really hope he doesn't try to stick his dick in my ass. Clinch. It doesn't hurt. Grandma said so. Well, your grandma's dead. She is. Okay. There's a set list taped to the floor here. I'll step on it. Are you guys having fun tonight? You guys drinking medium shelf liquor? Yeah, I was earlier. Um, okay, so I wish on Facebook that there was a like button when someone unfriends you. Glad I'm not, I don't want to be friends with you anyway, fucker. I'm glad we're not friends anymore, Gary. <laughs> My wall has opportunities for bigger and better things. Okay. I'm gonna divide the room here a little bit. Hey guys. What's up, bro? Hey, hey, more than one guy. Hey fellas. Hey, yo. Yo. Okay. Serious question for you guys. You ever been at Meyer? Hey, quit playing with your phone. <laughs> you want me to send him a picture for you? For you? Give me it. Okay, now shut up and listen to me. Social media can wait. 
Okay. Hey guys, you ever been at Meyer? 3 a.m.? Shut up, I'm talking! <laughs> you ever been at Meyer? 3 a.m.? Staring at the men's clothing section, and you're getting pissed off because the men, the, the 2XL clothing is $2 more than the rest of the clothing. You've had all the rage and anger that you can stand, and you decide to walk back to the frozen food section and stare at the frozen pizza. And you notice on your left is the women's underwear section with all the thongs and the panties and the whatnot. And on your right, there's the children's clothing section. <laughs> all those small people clothing. So you must ask yourself, would I rather look like a pervert or a pedophile? <laughs> you wait till you have to ask yourself that question. I accept all forms of money. <laughs> so I met a cute girl the other day. My mom would be proud. She works at a gas station. Okay, I guess you guys aren't proud. Fuck you guys. <laughs> um, she works at a gas station. Uh, I, I, uh, I was at her gas station that she works at, and I had an armful of little Debbies, and I just walked up to the counter and I dumped them on the counter. She's like, wow, that's a lot, a lot of little Debbies. And I'm like, can you still hear me? Okay. <laughs> I walked up to the counter and I dumped my little Debbie's there and she says that'll be five dollars and in the in the money in the in the money I had a in the money I had a Splenda packet in there and I dropped it on the counter and she says what the hell is this? I say, Well you're sweet but deceitful because eventually it'll give me brain cancer. <laughs> So it's a holiday time of year, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so it's so busy this time of year. <laughs> so busy, no one gets a break. We, we're all trying to prove our love to people. So instead of spending time and making memories of people, we wait in line for hours at stores to buy cheap crap made by exploited children. <laughs> You have all those bell ringers out there, and I have to avoid eye contact with everyone because I don't carry cash. If they got card swipers, I would have to pretend like I was deaf and blind. I mean, it's just there's the, the workers at the stores, they're so busy, they just never get a break. I mean, come on, even strippers get the Lord's Day off. Then you have the Black Friday shenanigans. You guys mm. big into the Black Friday? Ew, no. It's like the American version of the running of the bulls. <laughs> I, I went to Black Friday this year, I participated. I didn't buy anything though, don't worry, I didn't buy anything. What I did is I walked through the half mile long lines of people and I crop dusted everybody. <laughs> Do we have a, you guys have tattoos in the crowd here? Yeah. I got a few tattoos. I saw you waving in the back, even though it's dark. You're beautiful from my <laughs> angle. Technically, everyone's beautiful from this angle, because it's dark. Um, I have a few tattoos. Uh, there's two type of tattoo artists you hear about. You hear about the really good guys who charge like $300 an hour. Then you hear about the other guys who do it from their basement. The not so good guys. My friends, they came up to me, they said, hey Dave, we're gonna buy a tattoo gun. It's gonna be awesome. It's $99 on Amazon, it's called a Pro Kit. Hold on, my friends are dumb. They probably got the Pro Kit originally thinking it would make them a professional. They probably originally looked for a used Pro Kit to be an experienced pro. So this tattoo kit came in the mail I tried to talk him out of it, and like, are you guys sure you want to go through with this? I mean, you guys can barely doodle. But they went ahead with it, and uh, they said quarter sleeves, just trashy artwork for life, you know, not going away. I'll admit, my first tattoo wasn't done in the most traditional of settings. 
My gay cousin did it on my kitchen table. I just leaned over and took it. <laughs> it was really awkward when he did it with my dad twice. <laughs> now what I get for my first tattoo? I got Michigan. Why did I get Michigan? Because, so, because someone else besides the unemployment agency needs to represent Michigan. <laughs> it's true. <clears throat> I was at the casino the other day. You guys have casinos around here? Ooh. Heck yeah, gambling addiction. Hey, I did win $100 today on the pool tabs, by the way. <laughs> That's totally unrelated. Um, I was at the casino, and uh, I smoked cigars. Anyone else smoke cigars in here? N not, not a metaphor for brown dicks. Uh, cigars. Um, I, I, was, I was smoking a cigar at the casino the other day, and it was out. So I sat at a slot machine, to relight my cigar, and there was this little old Chinese lady, like a few machines over, and I was about ready to strike the match, and she says, <clears throat> You know smoke cigar here! I allergic! <laughs> and then she took a hit of her cigarette. <sighs> I want to get a job. I do want to get a job. This doesn't pay shit. <laughs> I want to get a job at a big and tall store. Not for the obvious reasons, you know, like I could use discounts on my, for clothing for my figure. I want to get a job at a big and tall store f for the off chance that a skinny short person will walk in. So that way I can say, sorry sir, we don't serve your kind here. <laughs> You either need to grow a foot up or a foot out. <laughs> I don't know if there's hide-and-seek teams, hide-and-seek tournaments, but if there is, I want my team full of homeless people. Why? Because who's better at hiding than homeless people? You know? And worst case scenario, your, your teammate gets blackout drunk and passes out and the other team trips over him and you win anyway. <laughs> I think, I think that the Jehovah's Witness people are targeting the wrong group, you know, going to people's houses. I think they need to target homeless people. Because homeless people, they're so good at asking, hey buddy, do you have a dollar you can bum? And uh, you just change your question. Hey buddy, do you want a chance to maybe go to heaven? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm sleeping alone tonight. <laughs> I was at Walmart the other day. You guys ever been to the abomination known as Walmart? Yes. Yeah, of course. This, this room's all white. There's tons of white trash in here. Uh, I was at Walmart. You guys ever go to Walmart during the nighttime? No. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking right now, you know. Um, I was at Walmart during the nighttime, and I don't know if you knew this or not, but the employees wear sweatpants to work. I don't know any other job you can wear sweatpants to except for a homeschool teacher. <laughs> Flop. <laughs> um, so, uh, you, guys, uh, you, you guys read books here? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Article in a magazine, manual to your new vibrator, anything? Okay. Uh, you, you know, you ever like hear they're making a movie out of one of your favorite books? And you're like, well, you know, I, I didn't love the, the book, but you know, I'll, I'll give it a chance. I'll go see it. And so you, you go and see it, and it's just terrible. Just terrible. And then you, you hear that they're going to make a live performance, a play of the book. So you go and see it. I'll give it one more shot. And it's just completely off the script. Nothing at all like the book. I saw that the other day. Where was I at? Oh yeah, it was church. <laughs> yes. I grew up I, when I was born, I was mighty young. <laughs> I grew up in a primarily white school district. 
Every now and then, when I want to reminisce, I go back through my elementary yearbooks. I look for all the black and Mexican, look for all the black and Mexican kids. It's like racist wears Waldo. <laughs> Anyone here living in an apartment? One of you? Okay. Um, everyone else owns a home, coming to the free show. <laughs> Smart thinking. That's how you get rich. You don't pay for shit. You don't tip either. Um, I, I used to live in an apartment. It was a pretty sketchy place. You would pull into the parking lot. You have to look around for homeless and drunk people. <laughs> and if you didn't, and then once you, you got the clear, you made a beeline to the door. It's a little easy, it, it, it got a little easier after a while, because there used to be needles all over the ground. But hey, do not jump to conclusions, there can be lazy diabetics. <laughs> so you get inside, and your feet aren't poked up by needles, and you get up to your apartment, you're ready to go to sleep. So you open up the window, get a little fresh air, and you're serenaded to the sound of domestic dispute. It's wonderful. I had, I had two roommates. I lived with a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Neither of them mine. Um, um, so they work the night shift. And so that means that by the time they get home, I'm usually about ready to go to sleep. And they, they, they were a perfect couple, I would say, and they fought all the time. And they would wake me up with them fighting all the time, all the time. And I, I, I just, I, I, I finally made a fun little game out of it. I called it, Guess the Pitch of the Bitch. <laughs> and if the guys are screaming, I play a little different game called Guess the Wine of the Swine. It's a fun, it's a fun interactive game. I bring my nieces and nephews over. We play together, we'll wake up. We'll be like, honey, which one's that? It's the, it's the crazy one. They're both crazy, honey. It's the fat one. You're right, here's a cookie. <laughs> so, I'm gonna tell a few more jokes, maybe one, and I'm gonna get off this stage. Yes. I'm going to tell two more jokes, and I'm going to get off this stage. You guys uh, ever go to Taco Bell around here? Yeah? yeah. yeah? I, I found out the other day that Taco Bell has a happy hour. I really need to time my gluttony better. I, I, I've come, I usually go to Taco Bell during the time known as the fourth meal. Are you guys familiar with it? Yeah. No? It's like the time at night when you're drunk and you go eat shitty food. That's what the fourth meal is. I, I, I've come up with a few slogans I'm going to suggest to Taco Bell. Like, for example, fourth meal. Let's face it, it's not your first bad decision. Or fourth meal. The perfect meal for your fourth bowel movement of the day. Or fourth meal. Keeping 24-hour gas station employees employed for forever. <laughs> so they tear that shit up. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna close on this one right here. I went do we have many religious people in the crowd? Yeah. That's alright, I don't watch football either. Uh, I went to a Christian music festival the other day. Man, it was terrible. I couldn't find the beer tent anywhere. <laughs> While I was there People tried handing me pamphlets entitled, Your New Life in Christ. Don't worry, I didn't take any though. But maybe if they had some Kool-Aid pouches attached to it, I would have considered. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying I don't believe in Jesus. I'm just saying I don't believe in the majority of the people who do. Alright, thank you guys. I'm Dave Basie. That's it for me.